Council Tool, Camp Carver, Hatchet. Welcome. I am Wes, and I am with, I am from, I am Midgard Axe. How's everybody doing? This is your first time here. Stick around because all of my axe reviews go to you guys as free giveaways. So stick around to the end. There's always two parts to all my reviews, and in the second part, I announce the giveaway details. So stick around to find out about that. Or if you want, you can stick around and find out what I found out about this one. And we are going over the 15 and a half inch council tool camp carver with the beard. Yes, went with the beard. Thought it was cool. I love bearded axes, heads. I love them. I absolutely love them. Okay, so um, like I said before, if you guys haven't seen uh, my last video, I did a sneak peek on this. Um, it does have a tempered um, pole on the back, which is kind of cool. So you have that hammered uh, pole if you need it. I like it because if you guys don't know me and you don't know how I throw axes, I enjoy the extra weight. I like a head heavy throwing axe, okay? So that gives me some weight on the back that I love because when I throw my axe, I want it to sink into that target, okay? And this gives it that weight that I really like. Uh, the tempering has held up really well on the edge. It did come pretty sharp. Um, is it as sharp as you can get it? No but it did come very sharp, okay? So it did have a really good edge on it, and the edge is even uh, from top to bottom. Um, there is no kick on one side or the other. They did a really good job on making this edge uh, nice and even. Um, it does have a nice cutting profile on it, um, which, like I said before, guys, makes a really good sticking axe for me. And um, I may redo the actual bit, um, we'll see. I'm going to throw it a little bit more, and I'm going to run some footage in here now of me throwing. I may redo that bit uh, contour. Not sure yet. I'm going to throw it a little bit more and, and see. Um, from distance, I was getting a little bit of uh, wobble out of the target when it would hit, and I think that might have something to do. Actually, I, I already know it has something to do with the bit um, and how it's profiled, but I'm going to throw it a little bit more and see. Um, but the axe flew extremely well in the air. I love how Council Tool did their handle. Um, their handle is nice and thin, like it's supposed to be. And um, they don't have a ginormous knob here at the bottom. I swear they designed this for to throw. Because this thing is, is literally almost exactly how I would want my handle to feel when I'm throwing. It did have a little uh, spot down here at the bottom. Um, that I did have to sand off. It was it was knocking. It was just a little piece of, of wood that was sticking up right here on the end. I just knocked it down. Um, but other than that, uh, the axe has performed extremely well. Um, I will knock it for one thing, and the one thing I will knock it for, um, you guys can see the the red bullseye paint I've got all over it already. Okay, so here's here's what I'll knock it for. They could have come down. A pretty good amount to get this on the on the shoulder okay when I when I uh, haft my axe heads I like them sitting on the shoulder um, this thing has a ton of room that it could have come down just a little bit more okay and I don't know if you guys can see this or not but do you see this right here I did have head movement come down now that's partially my fault um, I did from distance um, I was trying to get this thing in. I've got, if you guys don't know anything about throwing for distance, every axe is different. Every handle's different. Every head is different. So you for, for a single rotation or a double rotation, I'm good. I'm usually pretty on. But when I start going back and throwing uh, mainly like four rotations with axes, you really have to dial them in. you got to get a feel for them. And, and of course, I'm going to miss because I'm getting a, a feel for the axe. And when I did hit the knob, it did come down. Now, I could attribute that to it not being seated all the way down on the shoulder. 
I found that when I seat my axe heads all the way down on the shoulder and I do happen to miss from distance, I don't have it sliding down. Um, but I'm not going to knock them for that. Um, it was seated very well when I was throwing uh, single and double rotations. I had no head movement at all. It was really when I got back far and I started throwing for distance and throwing power. When I hit that knob on the target, it did slide down. Um, so uh, that is one thing that I will uh, throw out there. It, it did slide down on the handle. For those of you that don't know, what I do is, is I review these axes as they come. And then I normally make changes to them and then post a second part to the video showing you the changes I've made and then showing you more of me throwing. Um, I'm not going to have to do much to this axe. Early impressions, I have thrown it a bunch, but I think they knocked it out of the park. This is a really good throwing axe. I had a blast throwing this. I really did. Um, it's Like I said, it's really head heavy. Nice thin handle. Um, not a huge knob at the bottom. I mean, it's, it's, it's present if you needed to chop with it, but man, that thing, it just glides out of my hand. So I am really impressed with this axe. I haven't had any issues with the tempering on the edge. It's held up really well. It's still as, as sharp as it was when I first started throwing it. So, and I've thrown, thrown it a bunch, so I'm, I'm really impressed. It's got a couple gouges in it, um, but that was really on me. But um, that's not on them, it's on me. Uh, some of my targets have nails. My son was using those archery targets and he put nails in there and um, that's on me for hitting those. But I will say that the edge hitting those nails held up. So I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. So really, guys, the only thing that I think I'm going to have to really fix on this is I am going to move this axe head a little bit farther down on the shoulder. The little notch wedge that just kind of holds the wooden wedge in. I'm going to take that out and put a different wedge in it, slide it down on the handle a little bit and, and splay it over the top. I think that'll take care of some of that head movement. Now I know moving that head down is gonna cause the ax handle to be a little bit shorter, but I think in the long run, it'll help um, with any more head movement. And I'm, I'm okay with giving up about, I'm okay with giving up about three quarters of an inch to prevent that head from moving anymore, but from throwing, okay? So I think that's good. Uh, that's it guys. Uh, initial impressions. I really like this ax. It's got a nice big bit on it. Um, I like the design of the head. Um, of course the temperings held handles good, man. I don't know. I don't know what else to say guys. It's so far. It's been great. It's been really great. So, uh, stick around, uh, wait until part two. I'm gonna throw some more throwing videos into part two and, uh, see how this thing performed after I do the modifications to it. And like always guys at the end of part two, it's going to one of you. So stick around, come back and check out part two. I appreciate everybody's support, but until next time, guys.